Okay, everyone, welcome back to another video, another tutorial on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we have the Apple TV in front of us, and this is the process of setting it up. So this is what it looks like. At first, you have to pick the language. So just go with the English and whatnot. Depends on your language, of course. And then you are supposed to pick the region. So you have to scroll through all of the available countries which are shown to you. It's a good idea to choose the one which is actually your region but you can also choose a different one if you really wanted to now there are there's going to be the option once you go through the data and privacy which you can only just continue or learn more but you will have to continue then you can set up the apple tv with your iphone or set it up manually you can use your iphone to automatically add your apple tv wi-fi and other settings but i'm going to choose set up manually just to show you the process so set up manually um, just like that now the next thing is going to be the siri and a dictation now you can choose use siri on or don't use siri but it's always a good idea because you can always just talk to your remote and ask for stuff without manually just going through all of the uh settings and clicking through so yeah it's very useful to sometimes just use your voice but i just chose uh the option of not using siri uh, like that and then you're supposed to connect yourself to the Wi-Fi so you have to make sure that there is a Wi-Fi enabled and uh, basically just type in uh, the password it may be a little bit unusual because you have to scroll through all of the letters so it's not the most convenient way of typing the password in but basically just go through the steps make sure that you type in the correct one like that then it will try to connect and you'll get the scrolling wheel so you're gonna go like that the next option or the next thing the next window is gonna be the apple id window which of course as you know if you want to download any apps or if you want to have it part of your uh, devices or in your icloud you will have to log in with your apple id but you can just continue without it so uh, you can you don't have to just log it in right now you can click on uh, not now like this and actually you guys can see at the bottom i have the voiceover turn on it is active for whatever reason by default so you can see that i have to triple click the menu button to make sure that the annoying um captions at the bottom just disappear so this is what i did and it just disappears so i can see all of the options so as you can see you can skip the apple id step like this it just has to load up if you have a TV provider, it's not available in every single country, but if you have one, like if you're paying some for something, try to sign in to see if it is actually available on Apple TV, but I don't, so I'm going to click on not now. This thing is like a, you know, it's only for you for organization, like where is this Apple TV? So you can choose that it's in which room it is located in. The next thing are the location services, which I don't really know why your Apple TV needs access to your location, but I guess you can give it access. I would just say that disable it because like it's not like your device needs to know the uh, the weather or whatnot. I mean, in case you check out the weather on your TV, perhaps it may be useful, but I cannot really imagine like a different scenario uh, about that. But if you disable it, you will have to type in your time zone as it doesn't know where you are. So you just get to the... Um, again the alphabet section and you will have to type in the city that you are in so i'm just going to type in i don't know like los angeles and whatnot next thing is the option to choose and see the aerial screensaver which you can basically watch at hd like an hd video uh, of beautiful locations as they say from all over the world which is something that i quite like because if you're not active with your apple tv the um, time lapse on like this aerial video is going to be shown so i like to keep it at automatically download so that's what i chose analytics i don't send analytics to apple basically at any of my devices terms and conditions you're going to have to agree with that and you will then end up on your home screen of your apple tv where you have all of the apps the app stores you can go through all of the things by default you don't of course have any third-party apps you only have like 10 apps installed but you also have the app store so of course there you will need your apple id to actually use anything and there you have the settings and whatnot so that's basically how it works that's how you can set up the apple tv hope you found this video useful if you did i would really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up make sure to subscribe so you never miss fox tech videos in the future 
and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out until then.